Hello everyone, I want to do a video about the whole Novak situation, the tennis player that got deported back to Serbia in Australia and is unable to play in the French Open due to his uh, vaccination status and not being vaccinated. So I was really curious, I kind of been following this story and I wanted to check in with my guides to see what they said about this whole situation. Um, so if you're not familiar with it, uh, just do some research. But in short, talking about Novak, who is um, the tennis player, and I wrote down his last name because I cannot pronounce it, but it's D-J-O-K-O-V-I-C. So I'm just going to say Novak, um, his first name, because I can't pronounce his last name. But that's who I'm talking about. And it's the Siberian um, tennis player who's ranked number one, traveled to Australia, um, is not vaccinated, and he's now being deported or got deported back to his country and is unable to play in the French Open. So I requested or I put in a request for my guides to send a message that I could share with everyone um, from more insight on the his soul like the purpose of all of this i really wanted to see what my guides have said um i know i intuitively felt he's a powerful light worker and this is serving you know a, a big purpose because there's a lot of eyes on this whole situation globally and so this is the message i'm going to read the exact message that they said so novak is a global freedom fighter he is a strong light worker who chose to incarnate for this exact purpose, um, to bring forth truth, to shine light on the destruction of freedom. Rest assured, there are many light workers upon the earth who serve a purpose, a specific purpose. Novak's voice is being heard around the world. Novak is loved and respected here and in the heavenly worlds so that was the message they said and they showed him in uh surrounded by a really powerful blue energy light he had a sword and a warrior outfit on very powerful warrior uh, whoever his soul is and this purpose or the purpose of his him incarnating really has been this purpose to shed light on the destruction of freedom. So that was the message that they said. Um, and I wanted to share this in a video because it's really significant right now what we're going through as a human collective and what's happening on this planet as we are shifting into higher vibrations, shifting into a higher dimension and going through so much darkness we are really going through the dark night of the soul as a human collective many people are going through this individually and uh, this year 2022 is a huge significant year because it is where we will start to see team light start winning more things um, and team dark will not be what appears to be looking like they're winning so much um, but this is an interesting thing because I don't believe this whole Novak situation, I don't believe it's over. I believe this is going to bring about something very significant upon the the earth and with the collective of what's going on. Um, and it's playing a big role and it's going to be a catalyst for something, a catalyst for more awareness on all of this. Uh, when it comes to these vaccinations, um, I believe that this is really, really going to play a big role. And that's why I wanted to do this this video on it. And I see so much talk about it on social media, um, different perspectives, different points of views. Um, I know people may have questioned, you know, who is Novak? Is he really a light worker? He's absolutely a light worker. I picked up on that from the very beginning, and his role is very significant. And how this is playing out is all for the highest good. And so it looks like, you know, in this third dimensional perspective that uh, he lost and has to be shipped back to Serbia and can't play in the French Open in Australia. And, you know, the Australian government, as we know, is extremely corrupt 
and they have taken away so many freedoms, uh, just like what they're trying to do throughout the world. This is a really good example of the whole New World Order, whatever you want to call it, the dark agenda that they're trying to play out and take away all rights from humans, the freedoms or sovereignties. Um, this is part of the plan. Um, it looks and it appears that you know, this is a massive loss for the Team Light, that he's not able to play in this. You know, they shipped him back, deported him. Um, but this is going to play out very interestingly. I'm not sure exactly how, but I really feel it's going to be a win for the Team Team Light, however this plays out. So maybe it's just to bring more awareness. Maybe it's to... Um, or maybe, you know, there's going to be something brought about this whole thing. I know it's causing a lot of people, a lot of tennis fans uh, feeling different ways. But I do know a lot of refunds are being refunded for the tickets. Um, so it's bringing about a lot of energy, a lot of things that are coming to the surface. Um, more and more things that we can look at, that we need to look at as a collective so that we can see more clearly what's going on. So this is really that example that's going on worldwide about this massive corruption and then that you see like the dark side the dark and I you know I don't like to say sides or teams but this is the, the best way that I can explain it with you know team dark saying oh he's not following the rules and you know like a lot of people bashing him as well which is you know I'm not in alignment with that at all because I see he's a massive light worker uh, and this is all purpose you know this is playing a huge purpose like I've said but it's sad to see that he is being bashed because he is standing for sovereignty he is standing for freedom and he's you know super powerful warrior being of light that's being um, a big example of what's going on with the corruption so uh yeah it's just it's pretty crazy what's going on in the world more things like this are gonna start happening and you're going to have Team Dark continue to bash and make it look like, oh my gosh, he's being disobedient and how dare he think he's above the law in Australia, even though it's completely corrupt. So we are not supposed to be conforming to these corrupt uh, agendas. We are supposed to be rising and standing up for our freedoms, for our sovereignty. So we need to rise, come together and take this whole old system, this old paradigm this 3D dimensional hijacked system down. Um, so this is going to be a big catalyst for all of what's to come for 2022. So start seeing more examples of this. There's going to be uh, big wake up calls for people. This is all opportunities um, to take a look at where you stand, what you stand for, where you are aligned with, and how you are seeing what's going on. So remember always to take everything that's happening from a higher, higher perspective, a bird's eye point of view, uh, because there's always a lot more going on in the higher dimensions than what we see from a third dimensional perspective. So as always, observe it um, and be confident and know that this is not over with this whole Novak situation. And um, whatever purpose it's playing, it's going to help enlighten people. It's going to help bring more awakening. Um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to do this video. So go ahead and share this out. Um, I hope you found some value in it. If you did, like, comment. And I will, I, I will see you tomorrow for an amazing video on the dragons. This is the final episode of the Mystical Creatures video series. And I'm really pumped about this uh, last video final episode about the dragon so make sure you stay tuned for that which is tomorrow which is thursday um i don't even know the date today so today is january 19th so january 20th at 10 a.m pst pacific standard time it will be um, aired so look forward to connecting with you guys soon have a great day